When we size a model, Bernard Model 720 pressure reducing valve for the application, we always like to understand what the maximum pressure, the minimum upstream pressure, and the different flow conditions that are going to be across the valve. In most instances, a pressure reducing valve might only work between 20, 30, even up to 50% of its available stroke. And in some instances, if we have a very, very wide range of different flows, we may have more than one valve in parallel. We may have a 100 millimeter valve here, and we may have a 300 millimeter valve in parallel to give us a range from zero flow up to 300 liters for, uh, per second, for example. One of the options which we have, which we can fit to the valve at any stage, and this is the same for any Bermad valve, whether it be 22 years old or brand new or just within a few years old, is a mechanical flow stem. Now the mechanical flow stem replaces where the indicator rod is and basically is a device that can limit the travel of the valve inside the valve. The second thing is, is that if you have valves in parallel where the demand in the water system varies dramatically. For example, if we were in a holiday making area where typically the flows were only up to 10 liters per second, but at Easter weekend or at some uh, holiday period, the flows would increase substantially. We find that the larger valve that doesn't operate very often can gum up. It can just become lazy and we can also get untreated water sitting before the valve, which will actually pass into the water supply, which is not favorable. So in many instances, when we have more than one valve in parallel, we fit a mechanical flow stem that ensures that the smaller valve operates every day, but it cannot keep up with the demand at peak demand. So by limiting the flow of the smaller valve, what happens when we get to peak demand time at seven, eight o'clock in the morning, the pressure cannot keep increasing here because the valve is limited. The larger valve opens every day at peak demand and supplies the reticulation. So by adding a mechanical flow stem, we can ensure that we don't uh, have stagnant water sitting against a large pressure reducing valve and we keep the valves working and active all of the time.